Team 10 is breaking news about the unlicensed dentist accused of leaving his victims in agonizing pain and charging them for it. Our investigation got the attention of the state. And now Robert Mansueto is behind bars and his victims couldn't be happier. I wanted to make sure he didn't get away. It's a major break in a case uncovered by Team 10. Investigator Allison Ash broke this story back in April. She is live at the downtown courthouse where the once prominent Coronado dentist faces several criminal counts. Allison. Yeah, this all started with this ad in the San Diego Reader. It offers uh, bargain prices for dental implants, but you got to go down to Mexico to get them. Now, our Team 10 investigation launched a state investigation that led to the arrest of Dr. Robert Mansueto. He also goes by the name Dr. Bob Franco. Right now, he faces three felony counts and eight misdemeanors, but we're told there could be more. The judge ordered us to distort the face of Dr. Robert Mansueto as he entered a plea of not guilty to charges he duped patients like Donna Cooper into thinking he was qualified to pull teeth and place implants. He isn't. His license was revoked in 2005. I, I don't consider myself an easy mark, um, and yet I was. He was that charming and persuasive. Team 10 went undercover in April, following Mansueto as he drove Cooper to Tijuana, where she says he pulled most of her teeth and improperly placed implants. She's out thousands of dollars and a mouth full of teeth. That's why she rushed to the courthouse to see him today in handcuffs and shackles. I wanted to make sure he didn't get away. I wanted him to know that he's there thanks to me in part and then he picked the wrong victim. Mansueta was arrested crossing the border. The charges against him involve four different victims, three who were interviewed by Team 10. The deputy district attorney believes there are more. Here's Cooper's message to them. Come forward and be counted and get him some justice that he deserves. Mansueta's bail is set at $200,000. He remains in the downtown jail. The deputy district attorney is calling him both a flight risk and a danger to the community. Now, if he's convicted, he faces more than six years in prison. Reporting live downtown, Allison Ash, Team 10.